A Letter to Michael, from A.R. Borden, Secret Lockheed Martin Skunk Works Reverse Engineering Division, by Michael Lee Hill August 18, 2018. A Letter to Michael. From A.R. Borden, Secret Lockheed Martin Skunk Works Reverse Engineering Division Thursday July 10, 2008. Dear Michael. Thank you for your email today. I just received a copy of what you sent, and decided to reply with a letter directly to you. From where I'm sitting, I hear two Michael speak out, the musical Michael, which is a musically inclined persona that's gone through a musical evolution, and the private Michael, which is the one that's gone through an awakening. Inside, both seem so closely tied that it may or may not be noticeable to you. In here, I'm going to answer to both, and hope that the real Michael, who is the blend of both worlds, understands the words I use in replying to your long note to us, and to me. You know, these two Michaels have a distinct role to play in this whole crazy thing we are all participating in. I've wondered, and had asked Mr. Dot X, not his real name, more than once, just why is it that you came to us? He pointed out your reply to him when one of us asked whether or not you were sure about doing a concentration with us. Mr. Ten and One will be your guides, once you get underway. What I am still trying to grasp is who the group is that is in touch with you, and why did they give you approval to work with us? There are several possibilities as possible answers to those questions. But we'll save them for much later, at a time when the three of us are together somewhere, somewhen. I say these, as a kind of preface to you, because I am a wide-eyed, curious, born-in-Missouri-show-me kind of guy. But I also have enough nocive experiences to know how it all works, why, and what the rules are. Nocive is a word you're going to hear and read often from now on. So you might as well get introduced to what it means. Nocive is a mode of getting information that uses all, every pore and cell of your body as one huge antenna that sets up interference with fields and fields and more fields not just in our space slash time but also in other space slash time ratios. In saying all of this, please also be prepared to ditch and completely discard anything you might have learned about how the human body mind really works, and expect to have your notions of reality, materiality, spirit, God, and what is be severely challenged. Many rebel, but I don't think you will. Something tells me you won't. Nocive is our lifeline to anything and everything and everyone else, not just earth human, but also to other forms of life in the universe. Know-how, knowings, and knowledge we have plenty to offer you. What you do with it is what I stand ready to be surprised and glad and awed. I now know that all of us earth humans are intricately woven into a connective tissue like weave, much more than a network, and much more like a kind of overfunction, spokes to a grand wheel at the center of which is nothing and everything, because all of us together are it. This may sound like just another construction to support the Christian view of a Christ, but it is not. Come to find out, every living form in our known universe, and from other space-slash-time ratios, are organized like that. We've known this for over 20 years now, and keep learning how it all works, and why. Then there are those who are not from here, some of whom are already on planet surface, some already living around where you live and elsewhere in the upper Midwest. They look like you and me, but you can tell they are not from here. The life forms with whom you are connected to and communicate with may well have representative or crew members already on the surface, in Ohio and other nearby states. This would not surprise me in the least, in fact, by what you described in your email, I would expect it. Let me then give you a capsule view of what we are about, what kind of science we practice, what I believe is the set of reasons they sent you here to us, and what my vision is of why you are here. About us. Who we are. We are a germ that was planted in the soil of some minds back in the early 80s and germinated in some of us in the later years of that decade. The idea did not come from any of us, but rather from one of them. From those small beginnings, we are now still a small group, 50 plus, but we are independent of any organized worldview and control, and we are organized as a cooperative that operates by consensus of all its members. It is a handful to operate, but it keeps us out of the penetration and control of outside forces, if you know what I mean. The principle is simple, some can be fooled all of the time, all can be fooled part of the time, but not all can be fooled all of the time. In the latter years of the decade of the 90s, we had prima donnas and egomaniacs who wanted to be the stars, and it almost tore the whole group apart. Participating according to individual plans and wishes. 
Our mission statement is simple, we are here to study what can be said about what nature is and how she works. The story is continuing to evolve, the whole thing is a work in progress. But we are of one mind about the mission. And we accept help from wherever and whenever it comes, provided the interests and purposes of those sources of help are similar, consonant, to what we see to be the interests of the human race, and not just the controlling forces that now direct and control all significant aspects of our evolution, science, technology, etc. We have decided to be wide-eyed about things, especially about those who are not from here. We chose not be label them as aliens, UFO knots, and some of the other words often used to name them. We simple deal with what it, and what is, with the exception of one group, is that they are not from here. Our science. One of the things we discovered without intending to is that the universe and all other aspects of it is actually idiomaterial. Idiomaterial means that it is matter and thought and we can't tell it apart. Life physics, which is what came out of this effort, literally leads us to seek explanations on causation, not just the unification of all forces of nature, as material or standard physics does. We use a means and method of going out of the body that is technologically supported and allows a person to do that on demand, we called it extension neurosensing, or ENS for short. The theory and technology was developed by some of us. This technology showed us that the world, universe, life, not only biological life but all other forms of life, even non-biological ones, God, or what we discovered lays behind the source of all energetics in what we came to call the unum, everything that emanates and finds source at a T, or thought boundary. This is not just a mathematical construction, but a place one can see, some can even visit and survive it as form. And yes, it is a source of infinite love. We have learned much from it and about how nature is and works in the last 20 or so years. We have also learned a lot about ourselves as individuals and as a species or biological kind, or simply biokind. As you get started, you are going to be literally bombarded with a whole lot to read and absorb. This will go on for the better part of a year or so. You'll be expected to write essays to explain what and how you are piecing together the new picture you develop of how things really work. The focus during this first year will be on how nature works and how we human beings can master the use of what nature offers us, and all those who are like us who already know much better and much more than us at present. We will encourage you to write well and often, and hope that some of the things you come up with are publishable. Most of the other research fellows are doing just that now, some of whom have already published for all members of the LPGC group to read and comment on. You will then have the chance and opportunity to interact with them by phone and by messenger on what they said about what you wrote, and defend, modify and update your point of view. Most everything you read will go a long way toward helping you unlearn what you learned before and what you think you know about the subjects. I'm here to tell you that not all is the way it's cracked out to be. Fox Mulder, the famous FBI agent in the X-Files had a saying on his office wall that said, the truth is out there. Under the photo of a UFO. Well, we politely disagree and state categorically that the truth is everywhere. And here you are going to learn to tap into the truth that is to you by the effort and time you put in seeking it. One thing that you'll discover as you move into this new realm of knowledge is that as you learn and evolve, you'll reach new levels of knowing and know-how, and that this comes with new responsibilities and patterns of thinking and behavior. The whole thing is really a kind of personal bootstrapping by the sweat of your brow and the mind that is married to your body. We say superpose to your body, because they both coexist in the same space slash time. And you'll get to learn and use new languaging systems that involve much more than just words. An example of this you are already experiencing with your extraterrestrial contacts, you have a languaging system that allows you both to communicate with each other, both ways. Eventually, you'll also experience things in the unum itself, a realm of space-slash-time ratios in which some of the spatial dimensions are enfolded and create initial problems to a neurosensor just beginning because it creates perceptual effects that are weird to the uninitiated and inexperienced. But that's all right, with time, wisdom comes and from wisdom new and far more expanded understanding. In the same vein, you'll also inevitably going to move to, and ultimately grasp and understand the need of something called topological thinking, which to most of us represents the next stage in mental development for the human race on earth. And you'll learn how to develop this in yourself, because you'll need to in order to progress along a path you'll also realize is there and open to you. Ultimately, 
you'll come to see that everything, literally, is physics, but not a physics that is exclusively material or exclusively noetic, thought, but both, in other words, idiomaterial. This is far beyond even subquantum physics. You'll come to see and realize that every cell, indeed, every elementary particle that makes your body particulate, is a black hole and a white hole at the same time, and that this merges everything you are made of with a vacuum, actually a plenum, that is full of energy that constitutes a literal ocean of it. The entire universe, which is but one of seven superdomains, is nothing but particles that emerge from and go back to this plenum in a kind of continuous, never-ending Texas two-step dance. And you'll also discover that there are millions of possible infinities which are intimately and forever connected to what to us is infinitesimal, smaller than the smallest piece of matter. So you'll get to touch both infinity and the Planck limit, the boundary of the infinitesimal, during your journey with us. And you'll realize that the human mind is far more powerful than humankind today even fathoms. Why you were led to us are shared the following with me regarding my being contacted by the SEO. SEO is a technology handling and technology ran grouping with various foci. The part you are interested in is the pound or labyrinth, which is what Neruda referred to as the place where those who are not from here worked as well. But careful, not all of them are Sam's, Anunnaki, there are other groups as well. Our Borden. This is an interesting exercise for us, because we distinctly get it that it has to do with what your friends who are not from here want you to learn and evolve into. You see, right now, they see and sense your good heart and open, connected intention and life-giving ways. You also have music in you, but not in the sense of just playing the guitar or composing songs. You see, to create matter, you need music, or more specifically, sounds. Not just any one sound, but specific sound frequencies in combination 13a. You'll also learn about this in the course of your concentration. And you'll learn how to use them to light and code objects out of thin air. Yes, what we spoke about before, as you said in your biography, synchronicity. And the synchronicities do not end there. With you comes to all of us new roads, avenues and doors that you already opened for yourself. You've already crossed these doors. When these new doors you've already crossed become aware of your bootstrapping new self, new interest will arise in what you as part of all of us bring to the world. In that sense, the mission you set for yourself comes to pass, and with you as part of a far larger thing. This also translates into the entertainment as education aspect of this whole thing we are doing means. An act you learn to do and produce will speak a billion words. This will definitely get attention, and it is incontrovertible, you cannot argue with it. And the kind of music you may come to know and write and produce will be nothing like what exists today, because you'll most likely learn to use the true Pythagorean scale, from which creation itself comes. Think also of the value of getting to know your flying friends by pressing the flesh, as it were. Don't discount it. Maybe being here is what they hope you will use in getting to that point with them. There is a far larger issue, many new problems and immense opportunity all blended into one phenomenon in that. But this is one phenomenon we will have to participate in very carefully and very intelligently. We are not without contacts in this respect. And much, much more needs to yet be done in this area. So welcome to the stage, brother. Life will never again be the same for you. Only you can determine and decide if what you've chosen was the right thing for you. I suspect strongly it is, but that is not for me to declare with strong emphasis. Funny, though, the stage onto which you've jumped in your vision or dream is not the only one where there is a small audience. This one too has an audience of a handful now. But, as the message to me was, build it and they will come, said, they will and they are coming. As all the other research fellows are finding out now, you too will realize that you'll learn by teaching others what you develop, evolve into, and become. Finally, and extremely telling by how you sign off, peace is the basis, the platform, from and through which most of what you'll learn to become comes through. Without peace, you are quite right to say that fear reigns in the human heart and mind. And that we cannot allow to happen. Our own survival and thrive as a biokin rides on it. At peace. A.R. Bordeon, Ph.D. Managing Scientist. Koyas slash LPGC.